In Living Color, considered one of the most influential shows of its time, intermittently featured a culturally diverse group of hip-hop dancers known as the Fly Girls. They embodied the show's true aesthetic and later advanced to huge careers. Let's take a look at what they're doing today. Back in 1990, long before she was a chart-topping singer-actress performing during the Super Bowl, Jennifer Lopez went through a national audition to become a fly girl on the new show In Living Color. Though Carla Garrido beat her out, Lopez would eventually join the team in season three. We have a new fly girl coming all the way from Bronx, New York, Miss Jennifer Lopez. While the book Homie Don't Play That has uncovered allegations of tensions between J.Lo and other crew members during taping, her talents were quickly spotted. Former fellow fly girl Carrie Ann Anapa told The Hollywood Reporter, We all knew she was destined for greatness. She was a very determined young woman. After In Living Color, Lopez joined Janet Jackson's team of backup dancers and transitioned into acting, finding small parts before landing her first major roles in My Family in 1995 and Jack in 1996. The following year, she played the titular role in the biopic Selena, which helped launch her into stardom and convince record labels to give her music career a shot. Though not technically an on-stage fly girl, Rosie Perez choreographed the group's signature moves. In 1989, Perez's dancing made its mark in the opening credits of Spike Lee's Do the Right Thing. I was a, a biochem major in college when I met Spike Lee and he asked me to do a movie. Mm -hmm. And I said, I'm not an actress. And he said, yes, you are. Shortly afterwards, she replaced A.J. Johnson, the originally planned choreographer for In Loving Color, because of a scheduling conflict. She was excited but met resistance from the dancers, telling Here and Now, My assistant Arthur Rayner just looked at me and he said, Forget these girls. Come on, let's do our thing. He knew the real me. I was shaking inside. And I said, OK, line up. And that's how it went. The show let Perez shine as a dance arranger and boosted her career. She later left In Loving Color for a memorable on-screen role in White Men Can't Jump, choreographed for some of the world's biggest musicians, and earned a 1994 Academy Award nomination for her role in Fearless. Decades later, she's still at it, making major moves in films like Birds of Prey and The Last Thing He Wanted. Carrie Ann Anaba, one of the original Fly Girls, started her music career as a singer. As reported in People magazine, she won a talent show in Hawaii when she was 18 and was headed for pop stardom in Japan. After nabbing a top 50 hit on the charts, she was turned off by the artificial side of the business and pivoted into dancing. That's when she heard about the In Living Color audition from her agent. As she told The Hollywood Reporter, I went into the audition wearing black leggings, motorcycle boots, and a white lacy bra with a black leather jacket. I tossed my jacket to the side and walked to the center of the room, ready and eager. Keenan Wayans always said that I got the job the moment I walked in because my outfit was so bad and I had so much confidence. Inaba excelled on stage for three seasons of the show. She went on to dance during Madonna's World Tour in 1993 and landed roles in two Austin Powers films. In 2005, the multi-talented star became a judge on Dancing with the Stars, a spot she held for the next 15 years. Though an injury as a young girl dashed her dreams of Olympic figure skating, Sasha Alexander went into dancing instead, eventually making a brief appearance as a fly girl. As she explained on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, My parents didn't let me take the job any further because they didn't want me skipping geometry to dance around in hot pants. That brief gig did, however, offer her a stepping stone into acting. She revealed to IGN that stage performances led to TV roles, beginning with a part on Wasteland. Though her big break came when she landed the role of Gretchen Witter on Dawson's Creek, she's probably best known for playing Maura Isles on Rizzoli and Isles, a part she held for the show's seven seasons. Alexander was most recently in the Netflix hit film Dangerous Lies. Lorianne Gibson joined In Living Color as a fly girl in its fifth and final season. And while she didn't become as recognizable as the other fly girls did, that didn't matter for her career arc. Gibson would go on to choreograph for Sean Combs in a variety of formats, including his reality TV show Making the Band. She's been behind many other iconic performers, such as Beyonce and Alicia Keys, and she's worked as Lady Gaga's choreographer and creative director for years. Coming out from behind the camera again in 2019, she joined So You Think You Can Dance as a judge. Lisa Marie Todd has fond memories as an original member of the Fly Girls. After making some appearances in sitcoms and landing dance jobs, she made it through an audition for In Living Colors pilot. We shot the pilot, and I forgot about it, because that's what you do. <laughs> you just forget about those things, because you never know if they're going to go or not. As she went on to say on her show, An Appetizing Life, after In Living Color got picked up and she became a full fly girl, it was probably the most amazing thing that I had done as a dancer. 
Todd later appeared on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, but then left the celebrity world behind to raise her daughter. In 2009, she started a company of her own called Marie Todd, specializing in jewelry and fragrances. But In Living Color still holds a special place for her. It was just such a unique opportunity that came around, and you know, I'm really grateful and, and happy that I had a chance to do that. Josie Harris, later Josie Harris Thacker, got her big break as a dancer in Michael Jackson's music video for Remember the Time. Her raw and untrained dancing style must have caught the eye of casting agents for In Living Color because she was brought on shortly after, joining the Fly Girl troupe in season four. After the show ended, Thacker began an acting career, landing a string of roles on sitcoms like Living Single and The Way In Bros, before starring in award-winning films like Mississippi Damned and No Weapon Formed Against Us. For more than 15 years, Thacker has even run acting classes for children and adults, including the Respect for Acting Academy and Kids Who Are You Acting Academy. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about the Fly Girls are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.